So, as so often is the case, plans change at sea. But yesterday we were hoping to get to Shoreham and then change our plans to get to Bembridge. Everywhere that we pointed the boat yesterday, it seemed that the wind was <laughs> deciding to come from exactly that direction. There wasn't, I suppose. There were, there were, you know, the last hour was sensational sailing, really, after sunset. But before that was very frustrating. So, uh, we ended up in Sparks Marina, which is um, on the Chichester estuary of the Solent. So quite really pleased with progress. But this morning, it's lots of lovely weather. The wind's dropped, which is nice. So we can catch the tide up using the motor or something. So uh, we need a plan for the day. So I'm gonna have a shower, get planning, work out what we can do. So this is Sparks Marina. It's an interesting spot, plenty of boats. There's, all there is here really is a marina office and well, they call it a pub, but it's more of a bar with sort of banging music uh, and some food videoing. Kurt on the helm. Hello. Right on. And we're leaving Sparks Marina following the channel, which is down to 1.5, I think they dreaded to. Pretty good marina. Uh, showers not as good as Eastbourne or or Ramsgate, I don't think. But very pleasant marina staff. They were lovely. And here's our row of piles that we've got to follow out. There's a big sandbar that sticks out. You come in to a channel on down this side um, off the Solent, and then round, and then down into this channel, and round into the marina. Um, when we came in last night, there were so many eddies and whirlpools where the, uh, up here, just the other side of that bridge that you can see, there's a massive, uh, where it splits, the river splits, it comes this way and then it goes off up to Chichester and it was swirling and swirling and it was dark and we could only see lights and the lights were spinning around us. It was interesting. David looking handsome today. <laughs> Ready for a bit of her name is Rio action. <laughs> oh yes. Where's the G and T? Yeah. <laughs> After three days of hard sailing and long days, we decided to have a fairly short day uh, and get into a harbour on the west side of the Isle of Wight. Um, fairly early in the afternoon, and then we could reprovision the boat and basically to have a bit of time to ourselves to wander around and go out for a nice meal or something. So with the Isle of Wight, the tide's the king. The tide's absolutely ripped down the Isle of Wight and the tide uh, was with us, luckily, and all the timing was right. However, we did have wind on the nose, so it ended up being a day of basically being washed down the Solent by the tide. There were some great sights though. I remember when one of these was, uh, I used to live in Portsmouth, just over the back there, in the YMCA when I was a student in Portsmouth studying physics. And uh, one of these, I remember, got quite a lot of press because it was for sale for about a million quid. I don't think anyone wanted to buy it because it's really, it's just a liability, isn't it? Imagine trying to look after that and stop it crumbling into the sea. And it doesn't look very nice, does it? They have little, uh, they have docks in there. I think you can drive into it and moor your boat. So I'm surprised some super. I don't think it was that one that was for sale. But I'm surprised some uh, super rich hasn't snapped that up, developed it, and put a helicopter landing pad on the top. It'd be quite funky, wouldn't it? Hello, Solent. We must be in the Solent. Look. We've got planes that float on water. Ferries look ridiculous. Look at that. Hey, I think it captures the 
Alex Thompson out or his team anyway testing the boat or something. Looking forward to it getting a bit closer so we can see it. Let's see if it is that. In the open 60s uh, Bondi Globe class. Brilliant. Maybe we'll see him walk up the sail and leap off the top. Which he does in his Hugo Boss suit, of course. Anyway, it's not going much faster than us, is it? <laughs> Another interesting vessel just passing our bow. It's a foiling dinghy look. Look at that. Sailing on hydrofoils. That is a balancing act. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. He's like he's hovering. the foil can you at this angle it just looks like he's flying now he's sunk he's got to get his speed up to get back up on his foils again No vegetarian cafes. just got into Yarmouth and look it's Robin Knox Johnson on Suheili. How amazing is that? There he is up the bows being busy on his boat that went all the way around the world. First single-handed circumnavigation. Amazing. It was a hot afternoon in Yarmouth uh, and we wandered around reprovisioned the boat and it seemed like everywhere we went that we wanted to eat at was booked out. So we ended up in a pub, which was rather nice. And we ate and we drank and we were merry. And on the way home, David and I called in to say hello to Robin Knox Johnson. And I would have to say he was a perfect gentleman. Came out and said hello and explained to us that he wasn't going sailing the next day because the rugby was on. It was a lovely evening in Yarmouth and we really liked the place. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider clicking the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you very much.